Hi, today I want to run a speed test in my home network, which basically is a local area network. There are actually two computers, and I want to run the speed test between these two computers. If you watched my video about troubleshooting my slow internet connection, you probably remember that I used an online service, which was speedtest.net, to actually test my internet speed. But that's not going to help me here, because if I run the test here, it's going to test the speed between this computer and a server on the internet. And it's not going to test the speed between these two computers, which is what I actually want to do. Maybe I should run the speed test first on this computer and then on the other one and take an average and come up with a number. No, 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 that was the most ridiculous thing I've ever thought about in a long time. Since yesterday, actually. That's not the point. The point is that I can easily do this test by using iPerf. iPerf is actually a tool that is used to test the LAN and wireless LAN speeds and throughput iperf has client server functionality basically we're gonna run it on one computer here as a server and on the other one as a client and then on the client side we're gonna connect it to the server they're gonna generate some traffic and then test the performance and the quality of the link so first of all i will need to download iperf i can either download iperf 2 or iperf 3 one of the options that I want to use doesn't exist in iPerf 3 yet. So I'm going to download and install the latest iPerf 2 for this video. I will need to access and use the iPerf through the command prompt. So for that reason, I'm going to save the iPerf files in a folder that is going to be easily accessible in the command prompt. For example, here on both computers, I'm actually going to create a new folder called iPerf in the C drive root directory and copy the files there. So now on the computer that I want to use it as a server, first I'll go to the command prompt and then type in this command to go to the iperf folder which is in the C drive. So now that I'm in the right folder, I can start the iperf server by typing this command. Now the server is ready and is listening on port 5001 for any clients to connect. So now on the client side and in the command prompt, I'm gonna go to the iperf folder and here type in this command. This will generate some traffic between the client and server and then show me the throughput results here. That's not what I expected. Both the wireless router and the switch, they're gigabit devices. Also, the computers have gigabit network cards too. Let's connect both computers to the wireless router to bypass the switch, in case maybe there's something wrong with the switch or a switch port. What else should I check? These are laptops and I cannot change their network cards. Huh? It turned out the cable that was connected to the server was actually a Cat5 cable. Okay, so I replaced the Cat5 cable with a Cat6 cable and now let's run the speed test again. Much better now. This is what I actually was expecting. So this command that I've been using here is going to test the bandwidth from the client to the server on TCP port 5001. And it's basically only testing one direction. There are many other options available that I can use to change that behavior. For example, I can do a bi-directional test. This way the server connects back to the client, which allows the bi-directional measurement. I can also use a different port number if I want to, and I don't necessarily have to use the default one.
So that was iPerf and as you saw it is a tool with a command line user interface. So now there is another tool called Jperf and it does a similar job as iPerf but with a graphical user interface. When I run the software on the server side, I will select server here and then click run iperf. On the client side, I will use the client option here and type in the server's IP address and then click run iperf. And here I should be able to see the bandwidth graph. Alright guys, thank you very much for watching, hope you liked this video. Please stay tuned because more videos are coming soon. Thank you again and I see you next time.